everybody so today I thought I would do a cute little like face routine video because um, I've kind of been thinking recently that I literally have exactly the same face routine in every single video I film and rather than just like bore people with like five minutes of face that I don't need I would just put it into its own video that I can link in every single eyeshadow tutorial I do now um, and yeah I was I just thought it would be a better idea than kind of cluttering my actual eyeshadow tutorials with like face that I don't need to do because I literally have the same routine every single time with my face. I don't wear face makeup on a daily basis like I'll do crazy eyeshadow pretty much every day like this isn't a very everyday look for me um, but I don't wear face makeup on a daily basis so when I do it's kind of I have one combination that I really love and I really wear all the time I repurchase those products all the time they work for me um, and my skin so I thought I get it out of the way I just do one face routine and that would be it and that's all you kind of need to watch and I'll link it in all of my other videos from now on. So I need to go and charge my battery for a bit because it is dying as well. Um, so I could talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about what products I use, why I use them. Sorry, I'm just eating a ginger nut. Also, PSA, whole milk and tea, doesn't work. Where's my hair grips gone? Oh, there they are in front of my fucking face. Right, so I always pin back this bit of my hair so that I can get properly right up into that hairline. Right up into that hairline. We're going to build a wall. Right, okay, um, let's stop slagging off Donald Trump. Um, so the foundation I'm using at the moment is the Ordinary Serum Foundation and I literally use about a pump and a half of this um, to cover like my, my entire face. It's so damn good and it's running out and I find it really hard to get it out when it's running out. Do you love ginger nuts? So good. I kind of just dot it all around my face. This is literally how I've done foundation since I started wearing foundation. Like, I've never tried any other way of wearing found of using foundation. I kind of just dot it everywhere that I think needs the coverage. Basically my entire face. I remember when I first started wearing foundation, I only, like literally used to wear it like on the top half of my face and I don't know why. I think that'd be that'd be a really fun video to do, like do my makeup how I used to do it. Um, I think it's a thing already, but like I'm using a damp beauty blender for this foundation because I think it's just what works the best, really. Um, I've tried this foundation with a dry beauty blender. I've tried it with um, brushes, different types of brushes. I've tried it with buffing brushes, dense brushes, foundation brushes, and this is definitely the best method of applying this foundation. Um, I, I've i heard a lot of stuff about the other foundation that The Ordinary Day, the coverage one I think it's called, about how not very good it is and I feel like people don't really look at this foundation because it's quite low coverage but that, my friends, is exactly why I like it because I, I like a foundation that has a bit more of everyday coverage, you know, like that's not sort of cakey or really thick or heavy or anything. It's just my personal preference because that's just how I how I like it. I mean, I'm I'm very very blessed and I know how lucky I am to have quite good skin naturally. Like it, it's not really a problem. I've never suffered with acne or spots really. Um, and like you guys don't know how like you know I how lucky I feel to have experienced that like it, it's made my life so much easier but what I do have a lot of is a, I have a lot of redness so when I do literally anything like talk or walk too much or run like my face goes horribly blotchy like all around here and on my nose this is why I wear foundation literally to even out my skin tone for no other reason whatsoever I don't really know what, to, what else to say about that it's just a thing um and I find this one does that just that. Like this shade is so perfect for me. It's the shade 1.0N. It's so good. It covers up the redness, but it also doesn't leave me looking cakey and like one colour. So, but however, I do still like to contour because my cheeks are kind of chubby. Um, contour kit that I've literally been using since I started wearing face makeup because it's the only one I found that works the best for me is the Sleek Contour Kit in Light. It's kind of a very nice mixture between a sort of grey ashy contour shade and um, a bronzer so it kind of acts as both for me. 
and I use this with a uh, with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush because the because it's Duo Fiber the bristles don't pick up that much and they also blend it really really well. So you can kind of build it up a lot, and I just kind of blend it up as well, like up over my cheekbones just to create obviously that illusion of kind of higher cheekbones because we all want that, don't we? Basically, this is just me contouring away the chub. I don't really know how to contour. Like, this is why I'd be really bad at doing other people's makeup because I don't really get, like, contouring for different face shapes and stuff. I literally know how to contour my own face and that's it. Um, and then so I don't get loads and loads of products on my massive forehead, um, I go in with the uh, Gero Fiber face brush, which is a really good brush. And I literally just put that, it's kind of big enough so it covers my literal entire forehead um, you know, we all know how big a brush has to be to do that so, yeah, I basically just blend like crazy until I sort of get the look I want with my forehead uh, I don't really know, really, I'm, I'm really bad at teaching how to do things especially because I have no idea what I'm doing myself and then I kind of just dust a bit over my cheeks as well just to kind of act as a bit more of a bronzer um, and then onto my neck too, obviously, and my jawline because, I'm not gonna lie, my jawline is quite nice. I quite like my jawline, so I kind of like to define it a little bit more. I wish I was a boy, because then I could just like one of those boys that's got a really good jawline, and I'm just like. After we've done that, you'll notice I haven't put anything on my nose, but that's where this comes in. Um, I do kind of go in and blush and bronze a little bit more. Um, as a pale girl. I don't use a bronzer. <laughs> I can use a highlighter to bronze. Um, so I have the NYX Strobe of Genius highlight palette which I actually got in the goodie bag from the Hannah Renee Christmas party last year. Um, hoping it's as good this year because like, ho ho ho. And this has a colour in it that I can actually use for a blusher slash bronzer because I'm that fucking pale. Um, this one here just creates a really nice sort of like light pinky shimmery glow and I think it just for me it just goes with every look I do because every look is this kind of like warm toned thing and it even goes with cool tones to be honest like it's just such a universal really good colour for pale skinned girls so if you are a pale girl and you're looking for a bronzer that's not too dark for you that's got a more pinky undertone definitely buy this palette because and also the highlighters are amazing like the actual highlighters are so good in it as well so yeah and I use this on the B Cosmetics blush uh, slash contour brush which is just an angled blush brush and I just kind of put it like above where that is blusher for me works best if I put it here rather than like here because that just kind of accentuates like my chub so I prefer to put it around the edge of my face more. If I'm having a really lazy day with my makeup and I just literally just want like a bit of colour I'll just use this. I won't even use like contour or anything like that. I'll just use this. I do put a little bit on my forehead as well. And also on my nose because you know we do need some colour there as well. And it's just quite nice on the nose. Like I don't really overly contour my nose because my nose is kind of hard because I broke it like four or five years ago longer ago I think, I, don't, I can't remember, but I broke it, uh, so it's really wonky and really hard to contour, um, but I do like having a bit of colour there, so yeah, basically, I kind of just put it everywhere, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have any rhyme or reason to anything with my face, I just kind of do whatever looks good and feels good. Okay, so then for highlighter, I use the same palette again, or I will use the um, Sleek Solstice palette because I rediscovered this and it's actually a really good palette. Okay, so I take, depending on what kind of look I want, I use either a mixture of this shade and this shade here, or I'll just use this one if I want like a really blinding highlight, but if I want it more subtle, I'll mix a bit of this one in too. I also do use the Lilac highlighter sometimes as well. I This is like the only bit of my face routine that actually would ever change is my highlighter. Um, so sometimes if I do a more like blue toned purple look I'll use a lilac highlighter instead because it just ties in and I also have one of the Fenty uh, matchsticks in a purple shade so it does kind of you know get some use out of that and I actually love lilac highlighter like it I never thought I would like it as much as I do but like oh. so I highlight the tops of my cheekbones um, the bridge of my nose 
yes I am one of those girls who wears excessive nose highlight but I love it and I also wear excessive cupid's bow highlight that is basically my face routine I will then just go in with a powder this is literally the only powder I have at the moment it's the natural collection um matte press powder and oh god I'm flinging my brushes everywhere um and the eco tools it's rubbed off large large powder brush I think it's called it's basically just a big old fluffy brush and I will literally just go in and really lightly set my t-zone um and kind of around under my eyes and stuff um without trying to dull my highlight because that that's actually quite a lot of highlighter for me on my nose I don't tend to wear that much I promise I just have today for some reason be crazy and that is basically my face routine um, as you can see it's very normal it's very kind of average no sort of weird stuff going on sometimes if I'm going out um, or I want to look extra fancy and I've got extra time I will cream contour if I can be bothered to cream contour I will again use the sleek makeup cream contour kit in the shade light because it's just so good the only thing with this is I have to mix like um, oil into it because they're quite dry but yeah basically that's my face routine at the moment so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and a comment and a subscribe um, and I will see you in my next video which actually I think will be a tutorial for this look um, and this eyeshadow look will be going up as and when so yeah hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video bye